to our God. May he be highly exalted both now and forevermore. If you know you dance for God, can I hear you make a loud shout? So shall your joy be in the mighty name of Jesus. Sit down. Your God, can I see it in, on your face? If you are happy with our God, can I see it at your face? In the mighty name of Jesus. As God is happy, He must make you happy. He has power to make you happy. Because Psalm 30, verse 5 says. Sorrow may come by any time. But as the money comes, the sorrow must break into joy. As your God is happy, you shall be happy. He will make you happy. If you have your bulletin, please, and you are inside here, let me know. I want you to read. I'm inspired to pray according to the word of today's reading. The first reading. If you have your bulletin and you want to read, just indicate. I will tell people where it is. A reading from the book of Isaiah 41 to 11. God comforts his people. Comfort, comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and cry to her that her warfare is ended, that her iniquity is pardoned, and that she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. A voice cries in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be lifted up, and every mountain and hill be made low. The uneven ground shall become level, and the rough place is a plain. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has... For those who have their Bible, Isaiah 40, Isaiah 40 from verse 1. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken, a voice says, Cry! And I said, What shall I cry? All flesh is grass. And all his beauty is like the flower of the field. The grass withers, the flower fades. But when the breath of the Lord blows up upon it, surely the people is grass. The grass withers, the flower fades. 
May the word of our God will stand forever. Amen. Stop there. Thank you. Can we clap for her? Amen and amen. There is a reason why I decided to pick up this reading that is read in the whole Catholic world today. Being Tuesday, the 10th day of December. Yet when I actually stumbled into this reading, knowing that it will be read today during the masses, I come to say that there is no other passage that equips us with the blessing of today. Yet as we have had, for the ones I can remember, from verse 1 of that Isaiah 40, Comfort, comfort my people. Say loudly to Jerusalem that the warfare is coming to an end. Cry into her ears so that she will know that her sins must be pardoned. And then, for the shame that has been upon him, he will, she will receive from the Lord double portion. And then the word of God says, prepare the way of the Lord. Make the path straight. Let every valley be filled. Let the mountains be leveled. Let the rock places be smoothened. Let it be made a plain. For all flesh shall see the glory of the Lord. And then it goes on to say that uh, grasses wither, flower fades, but then the word of God never fades nor withers. My dear brothers and sisters, there was a time we taught you here that Isaiah is broken into three. We have proto Isaiah, we have Ditro Isaiah, we have Trito Isaiah. I will not bother myself today because I want to end on time today. And also not to repeat what we have taught you here. But then, the portion of Isaiah we are reading now falls within the second Isaiah, called and known as Ditro Isaiah. And as I said, I don't want to repeat, but Ditro Isaiah concentrates on the happenings during the Asilic period. Asilic period is when they were already in Babylon. And this thing happened between 5th, 5th century BC and 4th century BC. When you count, count BC, BC comes in a descending order. You know what we call, like we are in 2000 and what now? 2019. Call it fully. 2019 what? In Mali, 2019. AD is what? Anno Domini. Anno Domini means the year of the Lord. So, 2019, which falls within the year of the Lord, it actually started from the year of the Lord, started in 2000. The Lord we are referring is Jesus Christ. So, they used the coming of Christ to give a calendar date. And we know that, like, as we are in 2019, the year of the Lord, at least it started from year 1 AD, 2 AD, 3 AD, 20 AD, 40 AD, 100 AD, 1000 AD. That's 1000, then you enter 2000 like that, and we reach 10,000. 10,000 AD, we have like 20,000. 20,000 is where we are, and we call it 21st century. So that one to 999 means we are in 4th century AD. So as we are, you remember for those who are old as I am, that met 19-something, 1999, 1998, we call it 20th century. Immediately we enter 2000 AD, it became 21 century. So when you talk of Anno Domini, the year of the Lord, it, you calculate it in ascending order. But before then, the world has been in existence. For those who try to calculate from when they remembered, they now made it anything that came before the birth of Christ, it's called what? B.C. Before Christ. Unlike the A.D. that comes in an ascending order, the B.C. Before Christ era is calculated in descending order. So like the, uh, the throw Isaiah we are in happened within that 597 within 
500 and, and 400 and. So that 500 is actually 4th century. And it, it goes in descending order. So instead of 595, 596 is 594 going down to 400 until you reach 100 BC. And from there we enter and all Domini. Why I am bringing it is also for us to know that this particular time, the people were under slavery. They were hearing when, let me use the Nigerian parlance, it was not easy for them. But even in midst of that situation, even in the midst of the problems and challenges they are having, God is still with them. They were able to hear the voice of the Lord. It was at that point that the prophecy came through prophet Isaiah to tell the people one thing and the word continued the way I have told you. Isaiah 41, in Detro Isaiah, in 2nd Isaiah, comfort, comfort my people. Let Jerusalem know that the warfare over her has come to an end. That the things will be pardoned and then the over her shame she will receive double portion. My dear brothers and sisters, I wanted to end that song when our brother tuned for us, everything na double double. But I said, let me allow us to dance. It's not just about us remembering. It's about God who wants to do something. You remember that last week, which was the first Tuesday of the year, by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, we declared here, we the priests come to declare that this last month of the year, being December of course, and we know it as a month of celebration. But the Holy Spirit says, we shall declare it as a month of divine response. Yet because, I tell you, there is a reason why God has made you to be alive. I will not keep on saying this, but you know, it's not yet over until it is over. I am not repeating myself, but you also know that as you are alive, some people are supposed to be alive like you, but one thing or the other happened, they are not alive anymore. Where I was called for a program last Sunday, somewhere, oh, they gave me a theme to pray with them, celebration of life. And the Holy Spirit told me something. Why not represent our life with what the comedians do? Although I was in a church, it was yet an end of the year a program. But the Holy Spirit told me, there are always end of the year parties going on. Why not? I remember one of the jokes cracked by one of a, a, a famous comedian that said, oh, as he handled the microphone, as you are here, can you clap unto God? And people were finding it difficult. He said, clap unto God. He was winning some people. Some people started clapping. But he still noticed that as he told them to keep on clapping for God, that some people's hands are dropping, they are weary, they became tired. And then he said now, as the comedian, as I'm quoting the comedian, if you know the how many number of years you want to live, keep on clapping. Those that their hands were dropping, their hands became very strong. They started jamming it as if to say that you are in Oshodi. It was producing a serious sound. And then they continued. Some even passed 200 times clapping. As if to say, if they are allowed to live 200 years, that they will like it. But then, there is a wisdom in it. As the comedian says, if you know the how many number of years you want to live, keep on jamming your hand to that number. And everybody was at alert and did that justly. In the same way, you come to know, we want life, we cherish life. But then, I want you to know, the life God has given you is actually for a purpose. God has not finished with you. That is the message I have to, for somebody. The second Isaiah is coming on the hills of people who are suffering. Many of us think that suffering time is a time for us to keep a deaf ear. No, time of suffering, time of challenge is a time that we're supposed to be at alert. I want you to know it, that God has not finished with you. God is just starting with you. 
There is a reason why God kept you alive. And I tell you, that reason is for his purpose to be felt in your life. Why not if not? This is the 12th month. We have started it, the month of divine response. Because God says, even in the midst of your suffering, even in the midst of predicament, even within the challenges you have in life, that I, your God, is going to answer. I know somebody is saying, when will he answer? Holy Spirit is bringing a new inspiration this morning. You are asking, when will he answer? Even after all this, Reverend Father came last week to declare, is a month of divine response. There is somebody who is still asking, when will he respond? And the Holy Spirit is giving me a new inspiration. That yet, just as you are asking, and the Holy Spirit is asking you, as he didn't respond in January, will he not respond in February? As he didn't respond in February, will he not respond in March? As he didn't respond in March, will he not respond in April? As he didn't respond in April, can't he still respond in May? As he didn't respond in May, can't he respond in June? As he didn't respond in June, can't he respond in, in July? As he didn't respond in July, can't he respond in, in August? As he didn't respond in August, can't he respond in September? As he didn't respond in September, can't he respond in October? As he didn't respond in October, can't he respond in November? As he didn't respond in November, can't he respond in December? Even as you think that the declaration has been made is a month of divine response, and you say he has not responded, the Holy Spirit tells me to tell you that he has not responded does not mean he will not respond. In the midst of what you are seeing, what you are passing through, he comes to tell you, for the fact that you are alive, God is already responding. When as much as you are alive, whatever that poses a danger to your life, as God made you alive, that thing must die for you to live. In the mighty name of Jesus. Therefore, I say it again. Our faith is so strong. We trust this God. Oh, my committee that worked with the landing port traders, they came to say they were only able to, to distribute 5,000 flyers online before that prayers have been going on there. They call whoever that they call, but then they go and do the road work. They announce it, move everywhere. But what I am hearing, oh, don't misunderstand me, is to tell you that your God knows you. He calls you by name. You should be a proud adorer because the God you have is the highest God of the moment. Why not if not? The road work was not carried on. The normal publicity was not made. They didn't go to radio station as they used to. Only 5,000 copies that we are even shared, even here and then for the traders. But lo and behold, when Jesus says it's time for me to respond, Everywhere was filled. People were hanging even on the fence. Though the high rising, uh, high rise building, it did, there was no space to contain anybody. I am not here, as you know me already. I decrease for the power of God to increase. But I have to renew a faith. Because you that have been joining me, Holy Spirit says, as the priest prayed for you last week, you are still saying, when we hear respond, you should know. That God is with you. What are we trying to say? To control human being is a problem. Come to Ladipo. I am not saying this. Don't misinterpret me. Go back to social media. It's not for anything. But you see, young men, old men, men of middle age, bowing to our God. Why not if not? If I was not bundled out, I could not have gone home. Even as I was thinking, I have taken their time. That the shorts we are at a halt. But you see people who have faith. Before I will finish a declaration, the amen is echoing everywhere. What I saw last Friday is telling me that Romi who put Jesus is still at work. Even as I went to people who are doing business, do you know the voice I had at that arena? When I came, the way they drove and where they put me, 
I didn't even know. I was telling court chairman, tell him that I am here. When they are ready, I did not even know that people have filled everywhere. The voice I had, and I had it clear. Oh, he comes to say that one thing is that this God is actually doing business. It's not about the businessmen and women that have gathered. It's about God who is the astute and the best businessman. I thought I'm not hearing well. I asked Holy Spirit to interpret this message to the extent of, of human understanding. And then I listened clearly again. Said that the God you came with is in business. His business is surpasses the business of these men and women. And I asked the Holy Spirit at that grasp, what is the business of the God that has come here? Said he is in the business of doing miracle. And I want to tell somebody, even as you are here, here is the real shop of Omi Upu Jesus. The best astute businessman. I want to tell you that today, today, second to the last Tuesday that we are coming for adoration, he wants to prove himself as the best and astute businessman. And John 5, 17 says, as I'm walking, my father is walking. And John 14, 13 says, if you believe in me, you shall do greater works more than this. And the word of God says, if God is for you, nothing shall be against you. And as we anchor it on that Roman 8, 31, I want you to know, you are still contemplating, you are still checking, you are still doubting. Don't worry. Our prayer is going places. Even as we have not come to the conclusion or the prayer we have started, I believe that God has actually set his tools. There are tools of God you can see around you. The hands you see, the feet you see, the mouth you see. I tell you that God are going to use all these as instruments to make you a blessed person. Why not if not? My faith this time will never dwindle. Despite whatever that is happening around me, I come to believe that God who kept me alive has a purpose for me. I was telling them at Ladipo, a man called me two days before that on Wednesday. He called me from America on behalf of a family and friend or a relative that, lived in, that lives in Canada. That just within six months, that the man lost the wife, they have two kids, they are just young couple. Then he sent the two kids back home to stay with his own mother in the village there in the east. And then as they came, the man after some time decided to visit the children who have been staying with him over there in Canada. But as a result of the demise of their mother, they have to now live in Nigeria. So as he came back, he was almost reaching to their house. And then with the driver, the, uh, he, he contacted, he was in a chafu driven car. And then the robber stopped them. They started shooting sporadically and the driver lost his life instantly. This man also sustained wounds and then he was taken to hospital. He stayed a week on hospital and he was released on a fateful day. As he was released, he came back to the house there in Abba. As he came back, the kidnappers visited him. That day he came back to hospital. They abducted him. Although this time, ransom was asked. They paid the ransom. He was released. Because now they see that there is fire on the mountain. There is danger everywhere. Then he decides to go back. Why the mother and the kids will now leave their house and go and join the mother in another house. So when they went also, the man started going back to Canada. And the kids, the two kids and the mother went back to the mother's house. And there the robbers visited the woman that night. They robbed them although they didn't kill anybody. But in the morning, the woman cannot bear it again. She's already old, and then she actually fainted, collapsed, and that is the end of her life. This man was consulted, and that is it. And they took decision after much deliberations by the family members that the kids now will be picked by the, uh, their, uh, the, 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 the sister to the mother of the man. So the, the, the aunt to this man came to pick his own kids. 
to go to Lagos where the woman stays. They were traveling on coming to Ijebu. They, they had an accident and they unto this man died instantly. I want to tell you, you know, because I have shared this story somewhere. I am not so passionate again. I don't like hearing myself two times. But then, what am I saying? The man that is telling me this story told me, Father, what I will tell you now will shock you to the extent you will be asking me, am I talking, uh, am I relaying a Nigerian movie? Can you imagine? What I am telling you happened life. And that is it. What happened? Then now I wouldn't know how they got my number at this point. They started to tell me this. If you are in my shoe, what will you respond to them? I tell you that when I asked him, have you finished? He said, Father, not just that I have finished, but we are finished. At that point, I told them, I told him, I don't think you are finished. For the fact you are still alive, God has not finished with you. It's time now for God to rise over your kids and prove himself as God. Because I believe no or the Valonjo or Dima. Why we there be prophetic declaration when people are staying in hot soup? When people are suffering, that is Ditro Isaiah. Ask my brother priest. All of them are exegetes. All of them are theologians. We went through the same school. I cannot say what is not where they are. And you see it. When they are in hot soup, when they are facing the difficulty, the prophecy comes. And that is why I tell you, as I see even two of my brothers from Ibadan, I see the prophets coming. You know, they left everything. I asked the sister that came with them, you came from Ibadan this morning, they said yes. Yeah. I said, God knew why he's bringing them. Our effort is not in vain. We cannot do because we want to do. But we don't even know what we are doing because God is the one pushing us. Can two priests or more leave Ibadan? I have not even seen them to greet them. It's just the reverend sister they came with. That I, I said, sister, are, are you from a brother? He said, I, she said, yes. You came with two priests. I, he, I saw the priest because this time we have challenges about confession. You see many priests, but many of them are still, they have not received what you call faculty because that uh, ordained this year. I was shocked. What am I saying? For them to leave, what do they gain? Who knows them? Leave the baron to come here. Do you think they know what they are doing? Do you think they are the ones that send themselves? I tell you, God has brought them. And that is why we are telling you that yet, it was when they were in hot soup that real prophecy started coming. I know that you have reached the end of your wit. You have taught everything. You have strategized everything. But let me tell you, you can never strategize for God. You can reach where you can reach. Because also your brain is made by God and monitored by him. But even as you are under restriction and limitation, your God is above limitation and restriction. Why not if not? In this your condition, we will never get tired. I can never allow anything to pollute my prophetic mandate. For this I was born. Not only Jesus saying, because even in John 15, 16, he has made me to understand. He chose me. And he chose me for a purpose. He chose me, elected me, commissioned me. He didn't just choose me and leave me like that. As he's choosing me, he's equipping me, anointing me, inundating me with the spirit he has received from the Father. And then I am commissioned. Commissioned for a purpose. Go into the world and bear fruit. Why not? If not, who else again? And I know it. That by that mandate Jesus has received. That yet we are this. And Jesus said in John 18, 38, for this I was born. Just like my brothers, I have not greeted them. And every other brother that come here, you think about it. There are things we can use our time to do. Do you think that we being here is just that we want to be here? It is God that is bringing us. And he is bringing us because of you. And that is why I tell you, it's also as in the midst of your suffering that God will send somebody. Yes, if you have no problem, there is no need for you to be here. I welcome you if you have problem. That, is, that means you are at the right place at the right time. And therefore, as I said, that nothing will actually corrupt my, my prophetic mandate. I use the tongue God has given me with my, together with my brother priest. We have to prophesy. 
If Isaiah will be sent by God, people who are still under slavery, people who are in captivity, in the hand of Babylonians, Babylonians that are, resp are not respect of anybody, including God. I don't know whether you have read some portions of Bible in Daniel. You saw how Nebuchadnezzar desecrated the law of God, desecrated everything. And even his son, Besha, that took over from him, continued from where the father stopped. He even went to Estramai. In Daniel 5, he was using everything around him. Even the things they took away from the ruined temple in Jerusalem to prove that there is nothing like God. But in that means, God came to say, Mene, mene, take care and passing. Who will tell you that God has no power? God has power. Their numbers, their days, their days have been numbered. And God has removed, has actually started judgment. I want you to know, whatever that is actually a burden to you, wherever it is coming, whatever it constitutes of, I tell you that God has already known them. Mene, mene, take care and pass it. That their deaths have been numbered. They have been weighed in a scale. And they have been found one thing. Uh, that's take care. And passing, they have been divided and given over to Perez and Medes. What more, if not? We have come to tell you, yet, even in the midst of what we are suffering, that the God's voice is stronger than any other voice. I tell you that the life God has given you is for a purpose. I say, many, many, many take care and passing. As I see you here in the house of the Lord, I know that you are one of the children of God. For those who are challenged or brought challenges in your life, they are already on mene, on take care, on passing. Why not if not? And that is why we are saying it. Comfort, comfort my people. Say to Jerusalem, I don't want to know. I am no longer telling Jerusalem because where you are is the new Jerusalem. I say to you as I see you, know it now. The warfare over you must come to an end. Yeah. Everything that has counted for you shall be pardoned. And most importantly, every shame you have endured must be repealed. And then the shame will be changed with double portion. Yeah. I want somebody to know, as far as my God is concerned, is a blessing galore. We, we have, still have vigil. We still have Tuesday prayer coming. But today I want you to know that God is saying one thing. Isaiah 65 verse 24. Even when you do not pray, I answer you. Imagine what happens when you start to pray. Before you even close your prayer book, I have accomplished your prayer point. If not God, who else? And you come to know it. There is a divine response. Because I know that my God Abwaza Kachine Kemobo Abwaza Neke Mobo Abwaza Kachine Kemobo In the mighty name of Jesus, that is our God. When you call him, he answers. And that is why we should know. Yes, not by our power, says Zerubbabel in Zechariah 4 says, not by our might, but by the Spirit of the Lord. Know you that is a moment of divine response. If you have struggled from January to this moment. This time around, something must turn around for good. The double shame shall turn into double portion. Why not if not? If God is for you, nothing will be against you. If he says yes, nobody shall say no. No you and that is it. Why not? I trust my God. Oh, Father Folabi, you will not know when I saw you doing confession. I was happy. As you to say you knew what was running in my mind. I said this father that gave us, uh, what do you call it? that actually ministered to us on the second Tuesday this year uh, that conducted our penitential rite. That hardly, from July, hardly do, does he come around and everything. I say because the way we began is the way we are ending. We began with God, opening our heart, and the word of God says, Psalm 51, verse, Psalm 51, verse 17, that a humble and contrite heart, 
you do not spawn. Why not if not? I have conviction. I don't want to know what you are passing through. Just like what happened at Ladipo. Who are we? GOs have been coming. I tell you that people say this is the highest in number, in everything, in commitment, in seriousness, in devotion. What are we not saying? Yet, I want to tell you, yet, thank God, I want you to just understand one or two things, and that is it. For you to know, I am convinced. It's a miracle for me. I believe that Father Francis Afolabi I'm referring to. He knows I didn't discuss with him. Why will I lie in the presence of the Lord? I was actually contemplating. For you that joined me last week, you know I have been hammering how this year went very well. I am convinced it went very well. It went very well because we opened our heart. When you open your heart, why will God not enter? Isaiah 66 verse 3 says, What manner of heart? Can you build for me, if not being humble before me? And Matthew 23, 12 says, As you humble yourself, I shall exalt you. And the word of God says, John 3, 30, That if you de as it decrease, I shall increase my power in you. And that is why I'm convinced. The same manner we started, the first Tuesday, 8 January, we had the Thanksgiving match. The next one, that is 15, we had our penitential right. We continue that way. And then we can see how the year went. Just as we are ending, second to the last day, the Lord is saying that all our efforts will not be in vain. Yeah. That all the countless pains that we actually endured shall not be in vain. Yeah. That the sacrifices will not be in vain. Yeah. And I tell you in the same manner, I believe that time has actually come. You that are standing in the Lord, just don't worry. Raise your hand. Begin to wave unto the Lord. You have made sacrifices. You have actually lived for the Lord. This is a time of paying back. Why not? I know. Bring out your arrow. Bring your sword. I tell you, I'm not just saying. It's not that I see a snake. I go to where a snake is. But mistakenly, if a snake comes to me, I tell you that that snake will not strike at me. What am I saying? If you have any deadly weapon, bring down your hand. Bring down your hand. If you have any deadly weapon, come and use it. I tell you, it's not like we are boasting, but to tell you that our God is with us. We know He is actually with us. And that is why you should know what to do today. No matter however, you have made a lot of sacrifices. You have tried on your own to make sure that you did for the Lord. I tell you, that even as you make those efforts, that it's time now. Why not? The Lord must respond to somebody. The Lord must respond to somebody. All your prayers you have made for the in November. I say that this time around, whether they like it or not, by fire, by force, there shall be responses to prayers. There shall be responses to your prayers. Our God is on guard. He is already set in order to do something. Let me tell you, if people that live in secular world can actually reap the fruits of sacrifice, what about us? I tell you that we will reap even more than them. I think I have to tie myself to say I end now with a story about the fight, the titled Battle of Dunes between Anthony Joshua and Andre Ruiz. And we know, I have to make this confession, when I heard that Anthony Joshua won, I went back to the TV. Why did I go? Even as it was 2.30 already on Sunday. Because there is something that I want to prove to Christians. Do you know my happiness? What made me, in the midst of madness, to go back to television? Immediately the breaking news came that Anthony Joshua, a Nigerian Londoner, has actually won the world boxing title or regain his titles back. I went back, 2.30. Somebody said 2.30. 2.30 in the wee hours. Or Sunday. I want you to strike in your mind. I went back. I cannot tell you these things and I'm not saying what happened. I started watching the best I could to get it. And I saw it. I followed from, yes, I, I, I followed from first round. It continued that way. Why did I pick interest? Because 
in June, when they had the actual match in, in New York, it happened that to the chagrin of the whole world, and the Ruth knocked out Anthony Joshua. He came from blues, and he became somebody, just like that. He's supposed to go for 12 rounds, but it ended seven rounds. If they didn't take away Anthony Joshua at that seventh round, he could have been brought out dead. And then for you to know that how this man won him, yet as we know, he collected everything. There is something that made me to put interest in Anthony Joshua. From that day he was defeated. I read in the papers, he said now I must mortify my body. I wouldn't know the kind of modification, whether it's actually uh, uh, watching his diet and doing other things. But for him to come to media to say that as I lost, as I was defeated, I will begin now to watch myself, to mortify. And the underlying principle of that mortification is what? Sacrifice. I followed him. And a night on 6th Friday, before the actual match at Saudi Arabia, they had gala night, they have to come, people came, and then one of the highlights of that night is that their weight must be measured. They measured their weight and found out that Andy Ruiz, who, is, is, who won, that he has gained more pounds weight. Why Anthony Joshua lost weight? And they started to fight. I tell you that Andy Ruiz is a wizard in boxing. Yet, he was won, but it was not easy. I will tell you why Anthony Joshua won. He won because of that mortification. He won because of the sacrifice. They went at first round, second round, receiving the second round that he was knocked out. There was no victor. There was no vanquish. They continued. Eighth round, ninth round, tenth round, eleventh round, twelfth round. They cannot go beyond that by the roots of boxing. The umpires have to judge now by the points they have recorded and by the time they revealed their point it became clear that Anthony Joshua won he won a very tight fight he won because of the little effort he made if people who are gain, going for secular laurels we actually make sacrifice what about you that is a spiritual son and daughter of God I remember my word of God. 2 Corinthians chapter 9. Immediately Paul said in verse 24, I, be I, I became all things for all men. He told us about those who actually slog it out in a stadium to win for a prize that we fed. What about us, the spiritual sons of, and daughters of God, who are on this earth, we are slogging it out for a crown that we never fade. As I see somebody today, I see the sacrifice this ministry has done this year. I see it becoming a favor unto somebody. I see the sacrifice you yourself have made. I see it turning into a favor for you. Do you think it is easy to be a child of God? It is not easy to be a child of God. But God has made it so. I knew that many people made effort this year. Many people dropped some habit, habitual sins they do commit. Many people moved a step further in God. Many stopped visiting native doctor and many stopped going to shrine. Many stopped, many actually threw away their amulet and charm. And that is why I'm still telling you, you adore even if it is in Arochuku in your village, call us, we will go and remove that charm. I tell you that these efforts count. You see it today. You see how the boxer came to regain what was lost in him. He recovered his titles because of the sacrifice he made. I tell you that this is just the beginning. Who told you that prayers are not answered? If prayers are not answered, can you hear the testimonies? Even when we hear some of these testimonies, we feel that these testimonies are not wonderful testimonies. But if you have a deep thought over them, you will still see the hand of God. The little boy that came to tell us that the sister discovered when they came back immediately from, from the video that their gas cooker has been on all this while. There was a kettle on top of the gas. There was a water burning for how many hours? 
Have you never been to VG here? Do you think that our VG is from uh, 10 o'clock to 12 and you go? No! Imagine that. Coming all those hours from 10, according to the testimony of the boy, 6.30 a.m. when they came. Many of us didn't understand it. Your ears mustn't tingle to ascertain the tantamount net or the miracle God has done. But I want you to know that God always do it. Why am I convinced? Why do I go on praying for you with my brother priest, even traveling seven miles, passing seven forests, swimming seven rivers that are very deep on their own? I, Leo, cannot easily go to Ibadan if you call me. Have you forgotten the story of that road? Did you see priests? You see sisters coming because they believe that God is already with you. They come to witness for you that people all around you are doubting. Don't worry. They will doubt and tumults will be better than them. Because the of presence of Jesus, the doubt of Thomas expired. But these people are still doubting. That's why they are calling you names. Every Tuesday you go to adoration. What has happened in your life? You must respond to them now. Because the response of God is coming. Something is happening in adoration. And something is happening to an adorer. As I end it now, I tell you that one thing I know, Jidekiji, if you are doing well, hold as you have been doing if you are on the right channel. If you are not doing well, you have opportunity. In God, there is a second chance. Remember as this prophecy came, immediately the prophet said, I am like a lonely voice in the wilderness, crying, prepare the way of the Lord and let make it straight. And that is it. This is time. If you are doing well, hold on to it. If you are not doing well, you have a second chance. This is an opportunity. Turn. I know I will not budge this year. I know that it's just the beginning. And for the rest of the days we have in this adoration, I tell you, your problem is already ticking. It's no longer the hand of clock that is ticking, but your problem is ticking. It's ticking to wash away. It's ticking to fade away. Because flowers may actually wither. Flowers may fade. Grasses may wither. But the word of God never withers. And Malachi 3 says, the word comes from God who himself does not change. I said to somebody, today is the day we shall pray and our God shall answer us. We shall pray that over your challenges there will be double portion. Double portion of what? Is no longer double portion of the predicament that you have drank like water. You want to vomit. There is a double portion of blessing. Okay, water that you have swum in. Now there is a fresh water because we belong to this adoration. Where we are, there is a flowing stream. Our people would say, I tell you, you are already there. And I end with Isaiah 66. Powerful for you to know, verse 12, that oh, a, that prosperity will flow like a river, that the wealth of a nation we flow like a running stream. Why not? If prosperity flows like a river, this is time for you to prosper. You have been stagnant from January 10th. There is a divine response. You shall no longer be stagnant because as you are part of this adoration and you keep the law to the letter, to the letter, God is coming now. I know that that miracle will happen again. Today is another day. Over your shame, I see double portion of blessing. I ask my brother priest to raise their hand from the altar and we bless you even as you are sitting down. Can you just stand up? Because today, we are meant to be your prophets. We prophesy that over your shame, there will be a double portion of God's blessing in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. If you are saying amen, start, jump up and say, I will receive the double portion of blessing today. Seven times two. Seven times.
times three, seven times four, seven times five, gently seven times six. May the priest bless you again over the predicament, over the shame. We prophesy you shall receive double portion. May you receive it. May you receive it. Jump on last time I will receive the double portion of my blessing. I must receive it. In the name of J, in the name of E, in the name of S, in the name of you, in the name of S. If you want to receive, say I must receive. I must receive double portion, double portion of God's blessing, of God's blessing upon my life. Upon my life. Amen. Amen. There is nothing I know. Where is I go? Jesus Christ. I found out it's 15 after 1. It doesn't matter how long we pray. We mustn't pray too long before God answers us. Raise your hand. If ah, all these priests are here and Jesus is here with us, it's time now. Sokoro Makara. Somebody has been waiting. I don't know the prayer you have made from January. 
through February, through March, through April, through May, through June, through July, through August, through September, through October, through November, through December, in this month, as you have made prayer for the 12th month, and this time around, Revelation 22, verse 2 says, there is a tree of life, there bears each fruit every month, each fruit every month, is a fruit that will show that God is with you, that there is somebody here, instead of bearing that fruit for each month, you have been bearing, oh Sokoro Makara, problems, 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 shame, shame, from January, from oh Sokoro Makara, he karama dereke, si karama kara. Yes, Lord, I don't know where you are at this point now. Your God is here now. There is somebody. I remember Revelation 22 with prayer that there is a tree of life planted by God in your life. That each year it shall be a fruit of life. It shall be a fruit. But there is somebody. There is no true fruit. Not no one fruit in your life. Not to talk of true fruit. But instead, in these 12 months that have passed, 11 months that have passed, with this 12 months we are in, somebody has been bearing shame. I don't know. Yes, Lord. I don't want to know. But today, that tree of light, Jesus, ah, is coming now. Any fruit that you have gotten, but instead of giving you, instead of giving you comfort, it has given you shame. I take authority. I take authority. There is a seed of shame in somebody in January. We are you. They have ah, so the seed of shame. Somebody has brought shame in your life in January, in your life in February, in your life in March, in your life in April, in your life in May, in your life in June, in your life in July, in your life in August, in your life in September, in your life in October, in your life in November, in this December, any share, I see 12 basket of share, 12 basket of share, I take authority, Isaiah chapter 14, for every share, in January, in February, in March, till December, this time around, yeah, there is somebody I know, there is somebody I know, that is J, that is E, that is S, that is you, that is S, somebody, give me J, give me E, give me S, give me you, give me S, shout Jesus. Every shame you have passed through in January, raise your hand. At this hour, you shall count, shout that name as I tell you, give me J to last S. And that power will come. Any shame you have passed through in January, that shame must be exchanged. Give me J. Give me E. Give me us. Give me you. Give me us. Shout Jesus. I don't know where you are. Any shame you have encountered in January. Today, in the name of the Lord, you have confessed. You must receive a comfort. Any shame, it must be a shame. Have you passed any shame? Have you passed through any shame in January? I minister Isaiah 40. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. There is somebody at this January. You already can't tell loss in your family. Anything bringing shame. Kiss by the prayer. Kiss by the prayer. Give me J. Give me E. Give me yes. Give me you. Give me yes. Say Jesus. We have no time. In February, he follow you soon. Somebody go shame. In February, in February, in February, you lost your baby. Your sister lost baby. Where are you? People are laughing at you. After beginning the year in the Lord, after beginning with the Lord, I don't know where you are. Isaiah 40. Any share, I see share. Any share, any share. I am entering February, March. Any share in March. If somebody lost job in your family, are you the one? They are you. Is a shame. Is a shame. Other people that came after you are promoted why you are losing your job any shame in march from february to january february now we are at march i release now that change that shame must be changed that shame must be changed that shame must be changed is there any shame that has come into your life in march now jesus jesus give me j give me e Give me earth, give me your, give me earth, shout Jesus, shout Jesus, uh -huh. 
Any shame in a prayer, any shame in a prayer. Oh, we're on your fear. Your goods, your sins, your goods did not come. They change your goods. Shame everywhere. Nick and the Bofuma. I don't know where you are. I don't know where you are. So, Koroma Kara, he Karama Kara. In a prayer, in a prayer, in a prayer, in a prayer. Your goods, your sins, your goods, you are not recovered. I take authority. Any shame in a prayer, 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 we exchange this now in the name of G, in the name of E, in the name of S, in the name of you, in the name of S, give me J, give me E, give me S, give me you, give me S, somebody shout Jesus, any shame in me, any shame in me, any shame in me, what has brought shame in me, any shame in me, no money to register. For why yet? For her uh, external exam. I don't know where you are. You cry. Your children are at home. No money to register for external examination. I take authority. Any shame coming as a result of lack of money. Lack of money that made you unable to achieve your goal principles. To achieve your goals. I take authority. Give me J. Give me A. Give me S. Give me your. Give me a shout Jesus. Any shame in you. Any shame in you. Any shame in you. Any shame in you. Any shame. Lack of money. Any shame. I can't cause I say stagnancy. No money is flowing. In the first half of the year. In the first half of the year. Is as if to say everywhere tightened up. Is a bad signal. Any shame of bad signal. Any shame. Oh, we don't even bad. I don't need reason. I do. I don't need it. Give me J. Give me E, give me S, give me O, give me S. Any bad rain that has O, oh, Sokoroma Kara, Hikarama Kara, any sky that is clouded in June, in order to oh, release a bad rain, I take authority. Omer Oyeneba, Sikoroma Kara, Hikarama Dereke, any shame in June, 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 I take over here, in the name of J, in the name of E. In the name of S, in the name of you, in the name of S, there is somebody you experience here in June. That signal for you to lose so, for you to lose so, that the other part of the year will not be a good time. I take authority. Yes, give me J, give me E, give me S, give me you, give me S. Shout Jesus. I see shame. Shame of July. Shame of July. It must be taken away. In the name of J, in the name of E, in the name of S, in the name of you, in the name of of earth, shame of July, every bad rain, every bad rain, every bad rain, there is somebody, your appointment in July was scattered because of rain, because of rain, where are you, where are you, power, power, Kedonia, eh, you follow me, Miri, Miri, there is somebody, rain scattered your plan, rain scattered your blessing, I don't know where you are, receive it now, power now, power now, let my word carry power, will my brother praise, let somebody, any shame that has come to you in July, any shame that has come to you in July, I release fire in the name of J, in the name of E, in the name of S, in the name of you, in the name of S, any bad rain, any torrential demonic rain that has uh, any rain that has fallen in July, in July, there is somebody, there is somebody, there is somebody, there is somebody, they are books, they are, they set appointment, they gave you appointment for them to come to seek your hand in marriage. They rain fell that day. They excuse themselves because of the torrential rain. Oh, we're running a bar. Can only miri me here? Take it now. Take it now. Uh -huh. Any rain that has brought shame in July, I take authority. Uh -huh. Any rain that brought shame. Any rain that brought shame. Any rain that brought shame. When you had that great appointment, there was rain now. Any rain that brought shame, I remove now. Any shame in July. Any shame in July. Any shame in July. Any shame in July, take it one, take it two, take it three, take it four, take it five, take it six, take it seven. Uh -huh. Where is that shame? August, that shame in August, that shame in August. You are not able to travel, no money anywhere, no money anywhere. Even those in the village, they are saying shame, shame to you. You are staying in the, in the city, that you are staying in the city is just for formality's sake. 
I don't know where you are. There is somebody. Shame everywhere. Nothing is working again in the city. By your gods, I see shame. Any shame that has come to you, where you are living, in this Lagos, in your gods, is a shame that people in the village are expecting you for the August return. Even if you are not coming physical, you are supposed to send something, but there is nothing to send. Anything that has caused your shame, anything that has caused your shame, I don't know what has caused shame among your family, among your friends, whatever I have brought you shame. Is it penury? Is it hunger? Is it poverty? I take authority. Any shame in August, any shame in August, any shame in August, I take authority. I take authority. I deliver you now from the shame of August. Receive it now. Shame that is in you. Let them come out. Let them come out. In the Holy Ghost. 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 Whatever that has caused you shame among your family and friends. In a mebu, Ide Mebia, Ide Mesia, Anakogono, Kedonia, Akadia Wata, Bumana or the Koma Hihe, Kedonia, Akadia Wata, Omeronon Akosi, Omeronon Akosi, or that Potasi Kosa Pota, take it one, take it two, take it three, take it four, take it five, take it six, take it seven, any shame of all God, any shame that brought poverty, any poverty that have brought shame, I deliver you, I deliver you, I deliver. I deliver you, 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 I deliver you. So Koroma Kara. Power! Be quiet. Give me J. Give me E. Give me S. Give me Yo. Give me L. Jump up and shout Jesus. Shame of Ogos. Shame of Ogos. Shame of Ogos. Get on you, fellow men, Ogos. I can't go say. Poverty, poverty, hunger, poverty, hunger, poverty, hunger. I take authority. In this last month, you shall recover every shame you had in August. It shall turn into double portion. Oh, blessing now. 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 Somebody give me J. Somebody give me E. Somebody give me S. Somebody give me Y. Somebody give me E. There is a shame that came to you in September. Oh, there is somebody. Despite your prayer at the beginning of the year, you think you are pregnant. You thought you are pregnant. But it's a pseudo pregnancy. It's a ah, topic pregnancy. It is in September. It becomes clearer. Any shame. Oh, we're running as in the money. Not this email. Oh, we run as September. But about one way, there is somebody. You don't want to go to lab again. Because the nurses will laugh at you. Whenever you say you come for a PT test and it will be negative. I see somebody. Anybody looking for fruit of the womb. Any shame that has come by September. Night month when your child is supposed to mature, when your baby is supposed to mature, any premature pregnancy, any abortive voluntary abort, any involuntary abortion, any involuntary abortive pregnancy. I take authority. There is somebody. The month of September, month number nine. There is a shame that came to you because you missed your opportunity. Any missed opportunity. Any missed opportunity. Any involuntary abortive pregnancy. Any premature pregnancy. I take authority. I deliver you now. I deliver you now. Oh, when you are mad in a chop, who missed in a September? Oh, you not a female. Oh, you are not female. Somebody has been looking for something, but you missed it in. September, after your prayer in January, you say signs and wonders by nine months, by nine months, it shall be clear. But by nine months, you receive shame. I take authority. Any shame as a result of a topic pregnancy, as a result of premature pregnancy, as a result of missed opportunity, I deliver you now in the Holy Ghost, 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 in the Holy Ghost. Power, power, uh -huh. every shame in the ninth month. Yes, Lord. Uh -huh. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. 
Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Something that you have been waiting for, but you were disappointed. Any spirit of disappointment, that is shame in the nightmare. Spirit of disappointment, have you been disappointed as you have been waiting for something, for your baby to be born, for you to marry, for you to get a job? Spirit of disappointment, that has given you shame. I come against it now. 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 Any disappointment in September shall turn into appointment. It shall be divine appointment. Any blessing, any disappointment in this guy is a blessing in this guy. Any disappointment in reality is a blessing in this guy. In these 12 months, that blessing shall manifest. The shame shall go. The disappointment shall go. I deliver you now over the spirit of disappointment. Disappointment in September, from January to September, that has given you shame. Let it be broken now. Let it be broken now. Let that disappointment be released. Let it be broken now. In the name of J, in the name of E, in the name of S, in the name of you, in the name of S, in the name of you, in the name of S. Jump up and shout Jesus. 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 Any disappointment in October. Power. Any disappointment in October. In any way they have come. Any unembar disappointment in October. In October. Any evil of ember. Any embarrassment. Any spirit of embarrassment that has made you to have shame. I come against it now. I come against it now. Any embarrassment. Any embarrassment. Any embarrassment that has lasted in your life. I come against it now. I come against it now. I come against it now. Any leprosy. Any sickness that has caused your embarrassment. I remember Luke 17, 17. Ten lepers we are healed. Any spirit of embarrassment in the tenth month in October that has given you shame. There is a sickness that has brought shame. Any cancer, any HIV, any fibroid, any migraine. I see somebody's brother getting mad in the village. Any embarrassment, any embarrassment, any shame coming from madness, coming from madness. Receive your healing, receive your healing, receive your deliverance, receive your freedom. Any madness in your family, upon your brother, even if he's your sister. Any month of death, any October embarrassment that has come to you, I deliver you now in the Holy Ghost, in the Holy Ghost, in the Holy Ghost, in the Holy Ghost. In the Holy Ghost, in the Holy Ghost, in the Holy Ghost, in the Holy Ghost. Power, 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 power. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Any embarrassment? Where are you? You have been embarrassed. You have been embarrassed. And it has made you to be ashamed. I take authority. Anywhere that are coming, any embarrassment that has come to you, that has come to your family. Only they will tell you if you your family. Let that person receive deliverance. Let that person receive deliverance. In the name of J, in the name of E, in the name of S, in the name of you, in the name of S. Somebody now turn around for the 11 months, dying minute. Dying mini shame. There is a shame that came at the verge of success. Turn around one, turn around two, eleventh more in November. Today, today, today. Holy Ghost, run tomorrow, run tomorrow. You are turning around eleven times. Dying mini shame. Dying mini shame. There is somebody. God has blessed you this year. But in the eleventh hour, in the eleventh more, when you're supposed to receive intervention by God of eleventh more. There was interruption, demonic interruption. Oh yeah, turn around. We are using seven, a perfect number. Turn around one. <laughs> Let your terminating point be the altar. Yes, Lord. Even as I am fast. Yes, Lord. Spirit of God, come. There is somebody. Eberini in in November. Ah, where are you? It has turned into shame. Because of that mini shame. There is somebody. At the verge of success, we are you. Holy Ghost, or you turn around to I will say to you, power, you say Jesus. Turn around to power. Jesus. Uh -huh.
On a rentré power. Get ready, get ready. Any day in mini shame. There is somebody. You have prepared well for this year. You have been waiting for your blessing. But instead of blessing, there is an 11th hour share. I come against that share. I come against that share. Any 11th hour share. Any day in minute. Any day in minute share. Hey, hey, any day in minute share. Failure at the verge of success. Failure. Turn around for power. To so seven times three more. By the count of the seventh, by the seventh count, raise your hand, be quiet. Oh, even as we the priests are fast today. Yes, yes, there is somebody failure. Dying minute. All the prayers in the eleventh month. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Any dying minute that has come to you, dying minute shame. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Three more to go. We are on the fourth count. You have three times to turn around. As I say, three, four, five, six, seven. As you turn around, as I say, power, you will see what will happen. Any dying minute shame. There is somebody. Failure, failure, failure. Our ministry did not fail. Our God did not fail this year. Any failure that has come upon you, I take authority. I release now. Any dying mini shame. A big corner. Any dying mini shame. Any dying mini shame. Any dying mini shame. Somebody, I pray for you. I pray for you. Sokoro Makara. Hikara Makara. Our God of 11th month is a God of 11th hour. There is an intervention, any interruption, like as it happened, something was doing well, but I came to interrupt with a dying minute shame, any dying minute shame, from your office, from your family, from your husband to be, from your wife to be, from your boss to be, from your parent, from your father, from your mother, from your wife, from your husband, from your brother, from your sister, from your kinsman, from your kinswoman, from your friend, even from your enemy. Any day in Minisha, any day in Minisha, the case of Sanse, you shall not die, you shall not die in this day in Minisha, the day in Minisha shall die now, you shall not die, the day in Minisha shall die now, oh, we're on ya, I'm a yeggy fella, give way corrupt for you to die of depression, any depression, any shame. I am praying very fastly, I come now, let the power, let the power, anybody, anywhere you are, at the top of the at the middle of at the ground floor, at the labor, between the fair and the parish shop, at the grotto, at the walk away, at the parish office of front end, anywhere you are, inside this makeshift, I release now, any dying share, that want to lead into depression, that want to lead, lead into anxiety, that want to lead into Sokoro Makara, Ikara Makara, Sikara Makara, Ikara Makara, any dying, any dying mini pressure, any dying mini share, Leading into depression, leading into pressure, I take authority. Leading into strength, there is somebody here. Any dying minute shame locating you now, I come against it. Receive your deliverance. Turn around for power. Oof. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Failure at the verge of success. There is somebody, there is somebody you have announced. You have announced your testimony, but it didn't happen. Kedonia is a true prophecy. Power! Show me Holy Ghost. Even as I close my physical. Oh, well, you're not going But it turned out to be shame. Aha, I deliver you now. A better testimony is taking over. A better blessing is taking over the share. There is somebody. Oh, there is somebody. Let my worker move there now. There is somebody. There is somebody. You have told the world that God has blessed you. But it turned out to be a scam. Any scam that has given you depression. Any wayo that is bringing shame. Making you to lose your marriage. Any cheat. Any cheat. Any scam. Any scam. Any deception. That is making you to leave your marriage, to lose your marriage, to lose your job. Oh, we don't even bother. And I teach you in all because of scam. You made it here. You made it from stars. I take authority. I don't know where you are. Let my God answer me. One, two, 
three, four, five, six. Uh -huh. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Be ready to turn around. Be ready to turn around. There is a scam giving you depression. Giving you depression. There is somebody. You have shared your testimony. But it came out shameful. It came out shameful. Kedonya neba. Chine kemzogi. Receive your deliverance. Somebody is like Samson. You have testified the glory of God. Until that you mini shame. Any Delilah. Any spirit husband. Any spirit wife. Giving you shame. Bringing shame. Anywhere they are. Corrupting your blessing. Any spirit husband. Causing your shame. I deliver you now. From spirit husband. From spirit wife. Any spirit husband. Any spirit wife. Anywhere they are. We release now. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Any spirit husband. Any spirit wife. Scattering your life. Making you not to concentrate. Giving you concern. Giving you the pressure causing you share i deliver you now upon that spirit husband upon that spirit wife any spirit husband we release him now holy ghost 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 upon the spirit husband power i don't know where you are any spirit husband as the priests are raising their hand, receive your deliverance. Any spirit husband, causing your dying mini shame, making you to lose your blessing, because monitoring spirit is coming. Any spirit husband, any spirit husband, any spirit why, wherever they are, I let them cast shame, 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 let them cast shame. Raise your hand. God is here. If there is a spirit wife or husband that are causing your shame, power, let them manifest. We don't have time, but God can do with one minute. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I militate. Any spirit, ah, there is somebody. Your shame is caused by the presence of spirit husband and spirit wife. Any husband that has married you in water, anywhere they are coming, anywhere they are coming, in river, in water, in the sea, in the ocean, I come against it. Any marine spirit causing your share, like that of Jonah, like that of Jonah, you can see that mini, any power from water causing your shame. Jonah was happy with himself, but the water drowned him. Any marine spirit targeting you, causing your shame. Do you know it's a shame for Jonah? In Jonah chapter 1, everybody in the boat was free except Jonah. He was thrown into the water. Any mirina chirigi, any water seeking for you, seeking to disgrace you. Like Jonah, I deliver you now from marine kingdom, from marine spirit. Receive your deliverance, receive your freedom. According to Obedia 117, you are from Isaiah. You shall receive deliverance. Receive deliverance by power, by power as I'm speaking. Any water that is counting for you, that want to swallow you, that want to cause share. Only Jonah, in full load of boat, was thrown into sea. Oh, they want to throw you into the sea. They want to lose. They want you to lose. I take authority. Any marine kingdom, any marine spirit, I don't miri, more miri, I don't miri, nothing and again, like Jonah. I deliver you. They will not swallow you. Any dirty water, any demonic water, any devilish water, causing your share. Miri choli rigi, or manli zigi, or manli gi, or manli gi, or manli gi. Any water going for you, like Jonah, it shall not swallow you. It shall not swallow you. Any water waiting to disgrace you, I take authority. Any marine water, any marine spirit, any water spirit is eating somebody as they hear my voice. Let my word carry fire. Receive your deliverance over marine spirit, over marine kingdom, over water spirit, over mame water, over queen of the cross. They shall not allow you. You shall not be queen in the water. You shall not be king in the water. You shall not be princess in the water. You shall not be prince in the water. 
they will not cause your share they will not disgrace you any water targeting you any marine targeting you i come against it in the holy ghost as you are saying amen receive fire now for your deliverer for your deliverer for your deliverer water will not rain in your life marine will not rain in your life they shall vomit you. Any fish in that water shall vomit you. Shall vomit you. Shall vomit you. There is somebody. They have made you to be a fish. That's why you are comfortable in water. I deliver you. Any human being that is in form of fish, receive your deliverer in the Holy Ghost. 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 Hello, Morocco, and now 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 Morocco, Yes, Lord. I see as Mode Woods that has some ten. Oh, Sarah, in Toby chapter 3. Oh, there is somebody that wants to marry or that wants to deliver or to have children. But there is as Mode Woods. Turn around, seize power. Let my God. Turn around, seize for the last time. Power. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Any Asmodeus coming to cause shame. As it happened in the life of Sarah, there is somebody here. As it happened to Sarah, Asmodeus has been swallowing your prayers. You have not received answer. I take authority. Any Asmodeus, I release fire. Let there be deliverer. Let there be deliverer. Let there be deliverer. Asmodeus, demonic spirit or concupiscence. Ah, money ring goes in. Money reappear. Anywhere they are. Anti miracle demon. Asmodeus. Asmodeus. Is it in your life? Somebody at the ground floor or the hall. Somebody at the ground floor. Receive deliverer. Receive deliverer. Receive deliverer. Any as for the words, spirit that consumes prayer, spirit that consumes prayer, that destroys prayer, that destroys prayer. Anti miracle demon, I come against it, I come against it, I come against it. I release fire, I release fire, I release fire, I release fire. Eh, Kedonia, eh, Ketioma, I can be half again as a, I can be half again as a, Kedishoma Neba, Omaroyan as a Choma, Omaroyan as a Joma, Omaroyan as a Tinger, there is somebody, Omaroyan as a Bion. So Corona Kara, eh, 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 any as mother was consuming your prayer, I'm swallowing your prayer, any anti miracle demon, I take authority, I take authority, I take authority in the name of J, in the name of E, in the name of S, in the name of you, in the name of S, as the prayer of Sarah was answered, your own prayer shall be answered. Any spirit that has been working against your prayer from January to November. In this December, a month of divine response, your prayer will not be spoiled. In the Holy Ghost, in the Holy Ghost, any prayer that has not been answered, uh -huh. spirit of prayer that has left, spirit of prayer, they came to rob like Sarah. You know that Sarah prayed, 
Dead husbands have been dying. Prospective husbands that have been dying up to seven times. She was not discouraged. There is somebody. For you to lose hope. Any hopelessness. Any hopelessness. Any hopelessness. Any hopelessness. Despondency. Any despondency spirit. Any hopelessness. They have showed in the course of your prayer. So that your prayer will not be answered. So that you will be frustrated. What happened to Sarah shall happen to you. The spirit of God shall deliver you. Receive your deliverer. Over anti-miracle demon. Over as mother was. That conjures your answer prayer. In the Holy Ghost. 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 In the Holy Ghost, 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 in the Holy Ghost. I want to end now. I am receiving a message. You can see we are very far. You are turning round 12 times. I want to end here. Sokoro Makara. You are going to turn round 12 times. I will be leading you with the count in the name of Jesus. Please, there are other prayer points. I am I will not pray them again. I want to maintain time. But I connect you. Sokoro, you are turning around 12 times now. I wanted to pray last week. Time also robbed me. I wanted to pray today. Revelation 23. Every year there is a tree of life that produces 12 fruit. Today I am receiving and we are praying for 11. The fruits of unanswered prayer. The fruits of pollution. In these 12 times, she are turning around now. The 12th month you are, she has turned every other 11 shame into double portion of blessing. Do you believe that? Do you believe that? Do you believe that? If you believe that, turn around one. Altar is the terminating point. Take it easy. Gently turn around to power. Let power come. Turn around three. Chine kana zame bere zapo amkita ozubu ozubu. Eleven basket of shame must turn into two basket of blessing. Turn around four. Holy Ghost, I want to see. I have not opened my eyes. Ah, turn around five. Put more effort. Turn around six. Jesus. Turn around seven. Jesus. Let it be hotter. Oh. oh Lord our God, if you are here, answer us. By the twelfth one, by the twelfth count, everything shall turn around. There shall be answered prayer. So Koro Makara Hikara. Sikara Makara Hikara. Sokoro makara hikara. Sikara makara hikara. Sokoro makara hikara. Sikara mandereke. Hikara makara. Turn around it. Let the name of Jesus be loud. That turn around nine. Three more times to go. Turn around ten. Loud at eleven. Last turn around 12. Uh -huh. Every shame you have faced, every shame you have faced, every shame, every shame for 12 months, for 12 months, is turning into blessing. Double portion now, double portion now. I bless you with Isaiah 40, with Isaiah 43. Receive double portion. Any death you have experienced in your family, there shall be life, there shall be life. Any loss is turning into gain, is turning into profit. Any lack is turning into gain. Take it now, take it now, take it now. Take it now. Receive anointing. Power. 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 Somebody's prayer. Eberu Madora. Azagi Akita. Narosi Angozegi. Iga Mudi. Iga Mumwa. Iga Ruwekolo. Iga Wetego. Mwagi Wa Iga Mudi. Mwagi Wokege Wetezbol. Iga Gani Iyo. Biga Mantizigi. Biga Mantopoze. Uye Gama Arezegi. Nyayama Yazegi. No more sickness. 
no more trouble, no more infertility, no more barrenness, no more no marital bar no more mari no marital demon, no more sickness, no more setback, no more backwardness, no more austerity, no more poverty, no more hunger, no more loss, no more lack, no more shame, 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 no more shame. Your business shall go on well. Your family shall be in stability. You shall be restored with peace. You shall gain a gain for employment. You shall have a gain for employment. You shall have an attractive salary. Your passport shall come out this way. It shall come with a visa. God is giving somebody a surprise location. God is giving somebody a surprise allocation. You shall have a good location. You shall have a good relocation. It shall turn into a location. As I am going to the market this December for the market prayer, an adora shall be chief businessman. An adora shall be the best businesswoman. You are right, shall turn around. God shall give you blessing. There is no more shame. Your customers will not bring shame. They will stay with you. Your partners will not bring shame. They will stick with you. Your God shall not allow shame. Your God shall not allow shame. Your God is coming now. I minister Psalm 70 verse 5. He shall not delay again. Your God shall not delay again. Your God shall not delay again. Your God shall not delay again. If God is here, we release anointing now. We release anointing now. Receive your own anointing. As you receive it, your God will not tarry. Your God will not delay. He shall return the shame to those who brought the shame. They shall retire in confusion. They shall not conspire again. Their gang up is scattering now. They shall not hold water again. The shame they intended for you is turning into blessing. Is turning into blessing. Is turning into blessing. Is turning into blessing. Receive the anointing. Power. 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 If there is God in this prayer, let him show last one. Receive the anointing. Over your shame. Power. Power. Receive the anointing last. Power. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Something is happening. Over your double share. There is double anointing. Take it. Take it. Take it. God of Elijah. God of Elisha. Second book of King chapter 2 verse 10. Take it. Take it. Take it. God of Elijah. God of Elisha. God of Elijah. God of Elisha. Take it. Take it. Take it. You are like a new Elisha. You reject what Jonah accepted. You reject what ah Samson. I don't like using Samson. I'm not calling somebody. Ah, uh, I don't like using Samson, but Samson is appropriate. You are receiving. Sokoro Makara. Hikara Makara. Sikara. You are a new Elisha. Let the spirit come. Anywhere you are. Those anywhere you are, we are releasing now. Yes, Lord. You are receiving it. Anywhere. Thank you, God. I don't know we will make it. Be ready, be ready. All the priests, join me. Raise your hand to release anointing. Sokoro Makara. You shall receive the anointing Elisha received. You remember that there was a time people came to him. They were looking for Elijah. He was telling them, tell me what you need Elijah to do. They were going away. It was very shameful. They didn't know he has received double portion anointing. The same thing shall happen in your life. Those who are walking away shall come back. I say they shall come back. I say they shall come back. Second book of Kings chapter 2 verse 18. And Elijah asked them, what do you want? They said, we are looking for a great man of God, Elijah. Sorry, we don't need you. He said, what is the problem? They said that their water is bad. It's a murky water. And Elijah, Elisha asked them, bring salt. And he prayed over the salt and put in the water. I take authority. 
spirit of Elisha shall come. Those who doubted the power of God shall see the anointing. I release the anointing. It's coming in different forms. It's coming in double shade. It's coming in multiple shade. Oh, my priest are throwing a receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. Receive the spirit of Elisha. Those who walked away must come back. They shall see the goodness of the Lord in your life. They shall acknowledge the goodness of the Lord. And surely goodness and miracles shall remain with you. You shall no longer record shame. Those who know you with shame will be looking for you. They shall see you and they shall see your blessings. And your blessings shall convert them. They will join you to worship your God. And Tineke and Kegega Katanaha Jesus. Receive the anointing. Receive the anointing. Receive the anointing. I bless you with my reverend fathers in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Those are the top most of. Shout on your own. I receive it and my blessing is double, double. Say amen. Those are the top most of. Say I receive it and my blessing is double, double in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hey. Altar of God has registered your amen. It's double, double for you in Jesus' name. Those are the there is no more time. Those are the middle and ground floor. I combine both of you. Say now, I receive my double, double blessing. I receive my double, double, and it shall be a permanent blessing in Jesus' name. Say it. Middle floor and ground floor. Oh. That a man has reached the dimension of the altar, God is confirming it. Receive double, double portion. Those are the middle and the ground floor. Receive it now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Those are the labor between the fence and the parish hall together with the walkway and grotto. Sorry, we are recovering time. Ah. Say after me, I receive my double portion. I receive my double double. It's my own blessing. And it shall be permanent. In the name of Jesus, amen. It has come to the altar. Heaven is confirming your double double. It is a, a permanent blessing for you in Jesus' name. Those are the parish office frontage. Around the compound, anywhere you are, where you are, say, I receive my double double, is my own permanent blessing. I shall not miss it again. It is with me now. Amen. In the name of Jesus, take it. Pa. Those are the comfort of their home in their offices in diaspora. From outside the country, I connect you to those inside the tent. Say after me, I receive my double double. I receive my double double. It's a permanent blessing granted. It's a permanent blessing granted. Through Christ our Lord. Christ our Lord. And the church is saying, everybody. Yeah. Everybody. Yeah. Receive it now. It is permanent. It's double double. Double double unto favor. Double double unto success. Double double unto glory. Double double unto blessing. Double double unto expansion. Double double unto fertility. Double double unto childbearing. Double double unto marriage. Double double unto wedding. Double double unto restoration. Double double unto stability. Double double unto peace. Double double unto future. Double double unto progress. Double double unto expansion. Double double unto breakthrough. Double double unto family. Double double unto good job. Double double unto prosperity. Double double over good health. You are receiving it now. It is permanent. It is comforting you. 
you are stabilized now. There will be no more war in your life. You shall not struggle again. The warfare is ended. The guilt is ended. The sorrow is ended. The shame is ended. And I tell you, it's double double for you. 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 Whatever that is good for you in the positive realm, let it come double. Let it be permanent. Receive it now. I claim it. I believe it. I claim it. I receive it. The anointing you receive shall be permanent. Your prayers are answered. Your prayers are answered. You receive a divine response. God has comforted you. Therefore, your room, your family, your business is now a condition. I believe it. Your life, your family, your business, your future, your aspiration, your inspiration are now a condition because God has comforted you. Receive it permanently in the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Amen seven times.